to introduce you to a topic today considering wave particle duality. Wave particle duality has been a controversial topic for hundreds of years concerning whether protons were composed of particles or waves. Particles move in a straight line while waves have frequency and wavelength. But I'm going to let you know how secret it does both simultaneously. Most physicists up until the 20th century believed that light could be one of the other waves or particles. But the current scientific theory is that all particles are both waves and particles. This has been verified for elementary and compound particles. However, for macroscopic particles, their wave properties are so short we cannot be detected. Isaac Newton was one of the first scientists to discover the concept of microscopic particles, which he did in the 17th century. Thomas Young later came in and discovered that light could also be found in waves, which he did through his ever so famous double slit experiment. In this experiment, he found evidence for the wave nature of light. When light was sent through a grid, a characteristic interference pattern was observed. Experiments where energy is comparable to the energy of a photon or particles were successful in the acts of reflection, refraction, and later, Einstein's photoelectric effect. However, experiments where objects are comparable to wavelength or waves were successful in reflection, refraction, interference, diffraction, and polarization, but not Einstein's photoelectric effect. As neither were able to complete both, this implies the duality of waves and particles. With the affirmations of wave-particle duality, quantum physics is able to make descriptions of matter and energy based off of wave equations that relate to the probability of a particle existing in a certain spot at a certain time. Isn't that cool?